Hello, my name is John Murray. I'm a member of BlackBerry Developer Relations team based in the UK. I spend most of my time helping developers create applications for the BlackBerry 7 and BlackBerry 10 platforms. If you've followed any of my earlier blog posts and other content, you probably know that I tend to explore areas like near-field communication and Bluetooth Low Energy from a BlackBerry 10 developer's perspective, usually in conjunction with my colleague Martin Woolley. So you ask, what's this Unity thing about? What am I doing playing around in gaming? Well, if you weren't already aware, Unity is a phenomenal framework that allows you to develop amazing games on multiple platforms, including BlackBerry 10. And what's more, is that it contains a very flexible plug-in framework to allow you to extend your game's capabilities down into native capabilities of BlackBerry 10. Here's an opportunity, I thought. Could I add the capability to a Unity game to interact with, say, a Bluetooth smart device? Imagine influencing gameplay through data streamed from, say, a heart rate monitor worn by the player. Perhaps zombies could become more frenetic as your heart rate increases. This capability goes by the name of haptics. Just as some background, let's recap on some elements of Bluetooth low energy and the heart rate profile in particular. The Bluetooth heart rate profile is a standard established by the Bluetooth Special Interest Group. It consists of a set of specifications that allow a collector device to connect to and interact with a heart rate sensor, implementing this profile over Bluetooth Low Energy. The heart rate monitor can supply a whole range of data within this profile, including the instantaneous heart rate itself. A measure in MSG being expended, this of course would require more configuration to map a rate to energy expenditure, an indication of how the sensor is connected to the body and if in fact it is in contact with it, as well as a stream of data that can be used to determine the time spacing between human heartbeats. Some of these are used, uh, sp used in specialised heart rate monitors and we are interested only in the instantaneous heart rate measurement in this particular example. With this model in mind, the plugin exposes an API to the Unity application as follows. Firstly, the application needs to be able to initialize the Bluetooth low energy environment, establish callbacks and register for other Bluetooth events. The application needs to be able to scan for candidate Bluetooth low energy devices that support the heart rate profile and present that list to the user. The user would select a suitable device and then the application would want to start receiving heart rate measurements from the selected device. The application itself would want to be able to tell the heart rate monitor to pause the sending of heart rate data to it. And finally, the application would want to tell the plugin to clean up the resources it's using to communicate with the Bluetooth stack itself in preparation for exiting. The sample Unity application I've written to demonstrate the use of the plugin is really quite simple and functional. It has a user interface that maps directly onto the primary functions that the plugin supports. There's a set of six buttons that map onto the functions themselves, a selection bar allowing the particularly detected uh, device to be selected by the user, and the heart rate notification in terms of its current value from the monitor is displayed in large digits. Let's have a look at the application in action. If you've never seen a Bluetooth low energy heart rate monitor, then this is what one looks like. It straps to the body and can produce a variety of data in addition to simply measured heart rate. If you want to know more, then check out the Bluetooth Special Interest Group's heart rate profile specification and the other articles that Martin Woolley and I have written. First of all, I need to pair the heart rate monitor of my Z30. There are two heart rate monitor devices paired to this one, a Zephyr, which we saw in the last scene, and a Blue Giga evaluation kit that is emulating a heart rate monitor. I'll be using the Zephyr. I'm now wearing the heart rate monitor device, so let's start the application up and start monitoring. You can see from the screen here that uh, at the top there are a number of buttons. Uh, these represent the various functions uh, that uh, we uh, specified for the uh, Bluetooth plugin itself. At the bottom, there's a uh, drop down identifying the selected device, and in the center, in the large digits, is the instantaneous heart rate itself. So let's enable the uh, uh, Bluetooth. 
and start scanning. You can see at the bottom of the screen there's a log area. In fact, we can see that we've started scanning for each uh, heart rate monitor devices. Uh, once the scan is completed, we've discovered the two devices that we had uh, paired with previously, the Zephyr and the Blue Giga heart rate demo. So then, next select the device that we want to use. I'm going to use the Zephyr. And once we've done that, we can then go and tell the application to start monitoring. Again, if we look at the log, we can see that uh, there's some notifications coming from the rate monitor device itself with uh, a fairly high heart rate. It must be a, a stress from making this video reflected in the, uh, the digits at the top. Let's uh, reverse the process and stop the application. So, this brings us to the end of this video in using a Bluetooth heart rate monitor in a Unity application using the BlackBerry 10 plugin capability for Unity. I hope you found this to be another interesting Bluetooth low energy use case with an interesting twist. There are many other examples of Bluetooth low energy use cases emerging all the time, and this is an exciting area to be working in, particularly with the extensive list of Bluetooth low energy APIs that BlackBerry 10 makes available to you. All the details of the Bluetooth Low Energy articles, blog posts, code samples and videos have been pulled into one single location. The URL for this is on the screen now, so go there and take a look. In addition, if you'd like to approach myself to talk about the subject or this video or ask for help, then please free to do so. My Twitter handle is there on the screen. Thank you very much for your time and for listening.